Undisputed goes. Michael Guthrie. Never been defeated. Reason why we are on national television right now. It's your boy Michael Guthrie, and today I'm going to be taking you guys on the journey to jackknife. So not just really how to do a jackknife, but really how to master, how to make your jackknife look the way you want it to look. Let's get right into it. Jackknife, baby, let's go. First and absolutely foremost, you must understand your angles. These 245 degree angles, I've talked about them before. If you have been with me on any other tutorial, you've probably heard this once or twice, but we have our two 45 degree angles, which make up our audience, really, or our angle. As I come through here, I just wanna make sure that I have an entrance angle and an exit angle. That way I know exactly where to put my kicks and to take my kicks out. That being said, let's talk about just the hook kick. Not quite yet, the round kick, we will get there. So that being said, again, we have our hook kick. When you bring it up, I want you to bring it up and I want you to kick it out at 45 degree angle number one. That's where you're gonna go chamber up and kick out. Drag it through a middle target and that is where you will start to begin your rechamber as that is the point of impact and you are starting that rechamber, like I said, as you're coming into a uh, second 45 degree angle, you're just gonna really pull, pull that rechamber in. Now, once you hook something as a fisherman, you're going fishing and we hook something, what do you gotta do after that? Hook it, reel it in. So once we've got our hook, it's hooked here. Use this to reel it in. We're gonna use our hip there, our glute, to pull that in. And that is how we complete it. Gives it that extra nice aspect of rechambering and that extra little aggression to the kick itself from hook kick all the way up to jackknife. Moving on, let's get some drill going. Two things that really changed the way that I approach jackknife and the way that I do it now is in the beginning, I would just do this step over as I had a 540 hook kick. And I did essentially, instead of that snappy round kick where my foot just kind of comes up and comes right back out, I was doing this 540. And as 540 is great and all, I really don't think that 540 and jackknife are whatsoever the same trick. I'm really gonna compare cheat seven and jackknife to be the same trick and you'll see why. So we're avoiding that 540 kick. We're avoiding that inside crescent. Now, in order to avoid that, I'm gonna take you away from that step over. As you may know, I do the step over now for the way that I do my jackknife now. But in order to get to that level of comfort uh, with my jackknife, with my cheat seven, I really had to break it down with K-step. Now, I know this may not be the true Korean K-step, but the way that I run through with this K-step is I'm facing diagonal. I'm just gonna step out right leg, left leg, Hop over, land left, land right. Very simple. As I come through, again, one, two, three, four. Now the biggest focus, once you've gotten the case set down, is just the knees pumping and pumping and pumping. So the first one, obviously, when you go with left leg up, you can go ahead and just drill that on its own if you'd like. Just kind of work that cheat seven motion. Now, to bridge the gap, in between that cheat seven and your jackknife, I just want you to start drilling knee to knee. So work drill number one, just cheat seven. Drill number two, knee pump knee. This is gonna be especially important even as we're still transferring through to do just cheat seven. You're gonna be doing a huge knee in the middle. That's marking our jackknife. So without the hook, Left, right, left. So we're gonna be ending with that hook there. That knee in the middle is a big pump. Drill that as many times as you need to. Get used to it. And then move on. Our next drill is K-step, cheat seven. Now this is where we start introducing the idea of the round kick in general. So not necessarily in the knee pump with our cheat seven or anything. This is where I want you to wind it back for our drills that we're doing earlier. We just hook kick on our 245 degree angle. Same thing with your roundhouse kick now. So, it's gonna go through, and I'm not gonna angle myself right at the camera, I'm gonna angle myself right at the 45 degree angle. From there, I'm just gonna come up. My knee and foot are ready to come out. That is my entrance angle again, through the target here, and I begin the rechambering process um, at my second 45 degree angle, rechamber completely. And this one will be a little bit less, you know, 
pull through or reeling it in like you were saying with the hook. This one I really want as much as possible. We're still having a very roundabout motion with our round kick, but as much as possible, you want to think about a snake striking at its target as fast as possible. So it's going to coil up, come out, and come right back in really quickly. So let's just drill a couple of round kicks here. Boom. And a round circular uh, direction of momentum here. Just getting comfortable with how you want it to come out as you want to start instead of at the 45, just here. And then you can start just doing your hook through with it. And then make sure you are reeling it in. All elements and components together. Drill the basics and then apply it to your cheat seven. Let's get to it. All right, and all together now with our K-step, let's get a good pump, nice hook. Now I want you to just imagine this time as you're doing your knee pump, that a round is gonna come out. Don't necessarily do it, just really think about it. Make sure that you're not necessarily shifting your knees up, straight up, but in that circular momentum, that direction that we're trying to spin to. So you're gonna go knee up, as well as your right knee's gonna go up at that angle as well. So it's not only gonna lift you up, but help rotate you and your hips for this kick or kicks. Add the round kick. And you have your jackknife. All right, now let's translate out of the K-step or transfer out of the K-step uh, because ideally when you're doing longer combos, maybe you wanna throw your jackknife in the middle or maybe you just don't wanna do the K-step. This is much more ideal in my opinion to have this technique. The K-step just helps me get a little bit more air time, which helps me think a little bit longer or faster or more, if you know what I'm saying, while we're in the air and there's a lot going on. So let's wind it back over. Let's take a drill here with just tornado kick. And then we're gonna try to do tornado kick hyper really 540, but we're hitting that round kick in there. So really fast, let's just focus really heavily on left knee chambering or pumping up as high as we can. Right knee chamber or pump, followed by a round kick and drop down. Thinking about shifting that hip over because most tornadoes, you know, we're all squared to the front. This one, we really want to be focused on going over because we're going to be working towards hook, right? So here we go. A little bit off on my angle here, so I want to readjust. I want you guys to make sure, even film yourself, go back and study so that you know which angle you need to go to. Perhaps you're going to end up kicking too late. Right there, mine is too early. I want to make an example to show you that our goal, remember, is to go through to here, here, and here, all of the components. So again, all the way through. Now, once we've hit that, we really want to focus on the re-chamber and then chamber up right leg. Here we go. I'm sorry, the left leg, the hook kick leg. Boom. Chambering over, just kind of baby stepping our way, working one component and then another and then combining them to make one nice fluid motion or trick being jackknife. As I just said before, film yourself, watch what you're doing. Watch what you're doing right, watch what you're doing wrong. Be your biggest critic. The number one way to get your jackknife to look how you want it to look is watching it and doing it over and over and over and over and over. I've been tricking for 17 years and I still find things to nitpick about my jackknife on every single cliff, no matter how perfect I feel like it could have been, or it was, I always find something to nitpick and try to make it just a little bit better. Maybe I change my steps up a little bit. Maybe I change the way that my hips go, my round kick. These are all just the different tips, as well as things I've tried to avoid, and all the general, general information that I've gone through on my journey to jackknife. And I hope that it helps you guys find yours all the same. Much love, everybody. <laughs>